Hello. I found the most awesome sound when working on a steam engine cylinder. This is my die filer casting. The top's real smooth. I gotta hone it out still, but yeah, you can see it's. I found this piston. It's almost three inches. So I got piston rings for it, but it's very easy to slide, but there's no play in it. And yeah, the gasket's kind of leaks. But it's very tight. And once it's bolted down, it'll not go anywhere. With piston rings in it, it has almost maximum compression. It moves very freely. I just need to drill the holes to connect about right here to the inside of there. Which I'll do up real quick and I need to take and stick this back in the lathe and just take a real light facing cut. This side here definitely, you can see all the dings and crap in it from trying to get that liner out. It's been a long process. But, yeah I had to switch my idea from using the liner to going straight it was the plan originally just the liner came up and figured I'd use it unfortunately it didn't work out so this this is what happened to it it exploded on me literally so let's get to it I got this thing all set up in the lathe, indicated in off of this outside face here, and I've already started boring out a little bit of it. I have a round nose tool in here so that it will leave a decent finish. I'm not taking very big cuts because the thing is just a piece of mild steel. And I'm not going very fast because I don't want it's technically an off-balance load. I have this thing bolted down with six bolts all the way through the cylinder or to about here on the cylinder so it's on there firmly. Hundred forty thousand saw. So that's seventy thou.
how this fits. That's about as good as I get. Okay. Yeah, this is how the back of the cylinder was attached. Six bolts going, sorry, about here. So, it's on there tight. Now, take it all off, heat it up, push the liner in. Okay. Well, I give. I'll just take and bore it out to size and do it that way. I tried pushing the liner in and heated this up. Tried pushing the liner in, it was nice and cold. And suddenly, boom. It exploded on me. And this part got stuck in the cylinder. It, I ended up having to take the Dremel and grind out a bit so there's a little bit of a, a sixteenth of a inch dimple in there that I got to machine out. It's still really freaking hot. Yeah, I tried pounding it out. I tried everything get this stupid thing out. Finally, I just had to cut it out. So, so much for the cast iron liner. That sucks. Just bore it to size and get it done up that way. I'll come back when I actually... I'm not ready to throw it across the room. And I'll set it back up. Yeah, when you push it down, the piston really doesn't move any. Uh, it has a bunch of oil in it right now, but... Yeah, I gotta take and face off the ends here once again, because I kind of boogered them up when I was trying to get the piston liner out. And some scratches here, which I'll just lap. I gotta drill the hole from here to the inside here. And drill the other bolt holes. Um, yeah, it doesn't go down until you release the gasket then. Uh, let me see what... Next part is to stick these in the lathe and just create like a one sixteenth of an inch step on them and the inside step will fit right on here that way it locks itself in and creates a nice seal on it okay I finally just drill it down through it if I just clamp the stuff down with the this like normal the half inch bolt went through connected here and just held everything in place so it wouldn't move around and I just drilled straight down through it and I got one done up there I just v it out with the Dremel and there's the other one but they ended up right in the center of the ports and I drilled this one too which ended up right in the center there too. See if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it's right in the center. Center. This one's a little off, but not too bad. Crip. But yeah, I got those drilled and cleaned up a little bit. Um, I just took my 
little my little jack piece and put three washers on top of it and so it kept it from pushing down so it kept it at a right angle. I'll clean this off. So now where I put my hand over the kind of hard to get the seal on this thing I'll go out here a little bit yeah it's That part's done. I'll take and put it, drill this out a little bit, and put an eighth-inch MPT pipe tap in it, so it'll have a place for the steam to exhaust to. I kind of screwed up when I was with the Dremel and just caught the inside of that, so you can't even feel it; you just see it. So I'm hoping I can just hone that out when I hone the cylinder because it still has the rough feeling. And I got more than enough room to hone it because as you can see there is no gap. The rattling is this. But yeah, there is no gap and it's still a little tight, so. Yeah. That's all. Thanks for watching.